The KBOI 2 Adventure Weather Tracker is brought to you by Peterson Chevrolet. The weather seems to be calming down for the weekend, at least in the valley. Yes, uh, and it actually it almost kind of felt comfortable, yeah. almost warm outside yeah. in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. Our chief meteorologist Roland oh. Stedham is also out in the sunshine, live outside of the uh, Expo Idaho, one of the exhibition halls, with a unique look at uh, weekend adventure. I can't tell you, Brent and Natalie, how many times we've been out here doing these live shots and we were literally shivering in between hits because it was so cold. But now with the air that's drying out and the sunshine that we're seeing, the temperature readings are warming up to extremely comfortable levels. Absolutely delightful evening is setting up here in the Treasure Valley right now. Let me show you a beautiful shot from the STEM Action drone. Uh, we're over here at Expo Idaho right now as they're getting ready to open the doors for the Idaho Sportsman Show that's going to be going on this weekend. And look at that. Look at those mountains. Look at the blue skies and the sunshine that we're seeing. It's so, so nice. Now, there's a lot of fresh powder up in those mountains, including 10 inches of snow that has fallen in the last two days at Bogus and Brundage 9, Tamarack 11. Also got reports from uh, one of our viewers up in the Garden Valley and in Crouch. He said, man, they had some wicked winds last night and they got 13 inches of snow out there. So there has been some active weather around parts of the country. And as you see right there with the drone, what's happening is uh, I'm looking off toward the east and there goes our storm. It's moving off into eastern Idaho. We're still winter issues are going on right now on the I-84 from the Magic Valley down into southeastern Idaho. So we're on the tail end of that storm right now. Here's the Doppler radar. Let's see if we can pick out where any shower activity is. And it's primarily focusing on south central and southeastern Idaho. And what we're going to continue to see is generally dry conditions this evening. However, we have the center of the low pressure center that's been driving all this and that is still headed this way, guys. So we have not seen the last of the potential, at least for some spotty showers. Temperatures outside right now currently hovering in the 40s here in southwestern Idaho, a little bit colder in the southeastern part of the state. And also, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite imagery. The satellite is showing that we have clearing skies for right now, but you see the big low pressure center that's sitting off the Pacific Northwest coast. That is the low pressure center that is going to be moving across the region tomorrow. And as it does, I cannot rule out the possibility of a mixture of clouds and sunshine with maybe a few isolated showers here and there and still maybe some mountain snow showers in the high country on again, off again tomorrow. And then things really begin to dry out by uh, Sunday and Monday. So here's the seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. Let's go with a mix of clouds and sun. Spotty showers, certainly a possibility with high temperatures getting to 40 degrees. Do not be surprised if you see a couple of, you know, little snowflakes kind of flying around every now and then. And then on Sunday, it is going to be sunny to partly cloudy with a high of 41. On Monday, partly cloudy skies. In fact, we're going to keep it dry through the middle of next week with the potential of some showers coming back into the area right around Thursday and Friday and up in the high country. If you're going up there tomorrow, temperatures in the upper 20s, a mix of clouds and sun, still some spotty snow showers are possible in the forecast tomorrow and even on Sunday in the high country, but dries out very nicely up there on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with another shot of snow in the 70 forecast on Thursday and Friday. So back to the STEM action drone. There's the crew as we're getting ready for the doors to open here for the sportsman show that's coming up this weekend. Doors open tonight. This is always a big crowd pleaser here in Idaho. Uh, lots, I mean, thousands of people come to this thing and and everything and anything that has to do with the great outdoors is going to be right here at Expo Idaho through the weekend. So hope you come out and enjoy it, guys. And we'll have much more coming up in just a few minutes. Brent and Natalie, back to you guys in the studio.